Hey, what's going on guys? First Tech Cup here. So in today's video, we're going to unbox a brand new smartphone from a new brand called Ola. Yes, O-L-L-A. But first, let's get to know who Ola is. Let's get to know a little bit of background history and origin of Ola. So Ola is a new smartphone company that comes from the stable of Opera. If you've heard of Opay, O-Ride, Oka, O Cash and all the other O's that are related to Opera including Opera Mini which is a very popular mobile browser. Then there's nothing more to learn about the company apart from the fact that they've started making hardware, which is smartphone. So as one of the ways of getting more information into more people's hands and potentially expanding its line of business, the company has pivoted into hardware industry with the launch of its first ever series of smartphones. So the one I have here is called Ola Note 3. It makes me wonder if there was anything like Ola Note 1 and Note 2 from the brand. Okay, so I'm going to unbox it, give you my initial impression, what I think about it, and to see if it can survive in this competitive space. Okay, so opening the box, by the way, the box looks like a traditional phone box, but the plastic wrap on it makes it feel a little uninspiring. So inside the box, you've got the phone wrapped in a soft plastic with some basic specs about the device. Next, you get a TPU case. You get a customer service card and a quick start guide. Moving on, we've got the USB Type-C charging cable. And lastly, we've got a 10 watt fast charger. And that's pretty much it inside the box. There's no earpiece or anything related to that. Okay, back to the device. I want to tell you that this doesn't feel bad at all. It looks and feels nice. It is made from plastic. There's nothing too special here. The color I have here is called Breathing Crystal. It looks and feels alright, but I believe they could have done better. For example, the pop-up camera is not upright straight. It bends a little to the right and also it doesn't feel solid. It feels a little shaky and it doesn't retract if it detects a free fall or accidental drop, like most other pop-up camera do. I know this is the company's first attempt on something like this which is a smartphone and I believe little issues like this will be sorted out on next iteration. On the right hand side we've got the power button and the volume rocker keys. To the left we've got a hybrid SIM tray that can take a dual nano SIM at once or a single SIM and a micro SD card. That's another catch, it could be a turn off for some people. On top we've got a proximity sensor and a pop-up selfie camera. At the bottom, we've got the speaker grill. I believe a microphone is hidden in one of the speaker holes. A USB Type-C charging port and there's no headphone jack. Okay, so at the back houses a dual camera setup which is a 16 plus 2 megapixels camera, a single flash, fingerprint scanner and the Ola branding. Okay, so for the spec, you get a MediaTek Helio P23 Octa-Core CPU, a 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, 3300 mAh battery which I feel it is rather too small and lastly you get Android 9 Pi out of the box. Okay so the display looks good from the first impression but I'm going to be testing this device intensively so you make sure you subscribe to see my full review. So the display is a 1080 by 2340 resolution on a 6.53 inch display with a pixels density of 394. Yeah just watch out for my full review because I'm going to go much in depth about the display. Okay, so one of the advantages it has is that the Android version that comes with it looks almost like a stock Android. Apart from some Bluetooth that comes bundled with it, like the Opera News, Opera Mini, Ope, and everything related to Opera and its subsidiary. Outside that, the user interface is pure stock Android. As I said, this is just my initial impression about this device. My full review will be coming in a few days after I put it through its paces. I'm going to be testing it with PUBG Mobile and other games. Test the camera, test the battery life, the overall performance, the software and the user interface. Then give you my honest thought about it. Also, if there's anything else you'd like me to test or do on this device, kindly let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe so you won't miss out. Follow me on my social media handles. I might be posting some sample pictures over there before the full review comes out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.